Welcome to Badge, the home of family creativity. My name is Cedrica Baggin, and our mission at Badge is to bridge the gap between generations through cooking with creativity and originality. So let's move on to the first topic of today, my favorite motivational moment. And I'm going to pull up for you guys the quote for this evening, which is, hold on, y'all. Okay. Motivational moment for today quote is the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. What does that mean to me, guys? That means that we cannot dwell on the past. Yes, we've gone through, everybody has gone through different stages in their life and different things that they've had to overcome. But at the same time, we have to recognize that for us to move forward in our life and to be a better individual, we have to leave things on a positive note. We cannot dwell on the past. You have people that hurt you in the past, but yet some people dwell on that and stay hurt forever, knowing that person has already moved on and forgotten about the situation. We cannot dwell on the past, guys. We have to move on in a positive manner. You have to, however that is for you, whether it's prayer, you know, you have good friends or whatnot, that's there for you. Of course, some of us need that push to get moving. <laughs> and so whatever it is you have to do for yourself to get that push and to move forward in your life, you have to do it to better have a better mindset, better life, better, be happier with yourself as a person inside and out. So again, I'm going to let you guys know the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. OK, so make sure y'all remember that. And so now we're going to move on to today's fun food fact. Today's fun food fact is about coffee. And so, of course, I got to look at my notes, y'all. So fun food fact for today is coffee. Coffee is packed with antioxidants, which have significant health benefits. They might even help prevent cancer, heart disease, diabetes and Parkinson's disease. Now, <laughs> when I read this, I was like, oh, how? But I also read that it could because it kind of makes sense because people aren't addicted to coffee. They're addicted to caffeine. And also coffee is healthy. But what most of us always do is add sugar and creamer, which throws it off from the healthy side to make it unhealthy. And so <laughs> which is something I do, of course. And so the coffee and creamer, which is a part of the coffee that makes the calorie count go up and they're, they're on so forth. So for people that drink coffee without coffee or creamer, drink their coffee black, uh, kudos to you because that's the healthy way to go drinking coffee. And for me personally, I drink coffee only once a day. I used to be highly addicted to coffee, the caffeine, of course, and it was just too much. And so now I only do one cup, one cup of coffee a day to get my day started. And it's really all I need for the whole day. And I'm good because I have my natural energy as well. And so with that being said, fun food fact for the day is coffee. Remember that. And so if you want to drink some healthy coffee, that means you cannot add sugar. You cannot add creamer, <laughs> but I'm going to continue doing that. So... <laughs> Now, let's move on to the recipe of the day. Okay, guys? Which is why it'll make sense why I did coffee. So, recipe of the day is pumpkin spice coffee. I went out my way and made me a cup myself. My uh, whip topping already dissolved. But pumpkin spice coffee made it from scratch and it's a very easy recipe to do especially for those of us who are in the house of course working from home um just take some time one day and make your own mix of coffee it's like three four or five di different um ingredients very easy knock it out in like five minutes and put it in the pot all the ingredients in the pot and boil it and so you can find this recipe on my blog which is Rolling around the screen right there, <laughs> which is bajayaprons.com slash blog slash news. And I'm telling you guys, it's a nice recipe, easy recipe, very good. I am not the biggest fan with pumpkin, but not till last year, <laughs> I became a fan of pumpkin. And so I this year, I decided to do more with it. And so don't be sleep on the pumpkin, y'all. 
So, cause I was, I love my sweet potato, of course, my sweet potato pies and everything. I still love that. But pumpkin is actually very good as well. And so this pumpkin spice coffee, very easy. Just go to my blog and do the recipe. Let me know how it is for you guys. Let me know how it tastes. How did you like it? And also put a picture of your coffee on the, in the comments of my blog. And also, um, yes, yeah, take a picture and let me know how it tastes. And yeah, I want to hear from you guys as well. And so now, next, I'm going to move on to the guest for this evening. Her name, hold on, let me take this down. Oh, technology. Her name is Patrice Rivers. She is a writer and an author. She is a sickle cell disease survivor. And I am so honored to have her on my show tonight. So let's welcome Patrice Rivers. Hi. <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear you now. <laughs> I love your hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank so, you so much. Can, um, introduce yourself and tell us about you. Well, I'm a non-time published author. I am a freelance writer. I am a certified journalist. And I am the owner and creator of my own brand, that Rivers Girl brand. So that pretty much summarizes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. And so my first question for you is, uh, so you've lived with sickle cell disease uh, for how long now? Oh, gosh. I was diagnosed with sickle cell at the age of one. So wow. it's been a while. Okay. Yeah. So... Yes. What, how have you, cause you overcome that ment physically. So how have you overcome that um, mentally? And of course, continue to overcome it. Well, actually um, most of my crisis and my hospitalizations were mainly in my childhood years. Mm -hmm. My last pain crisis was really back in 1999. That was oh. the last time I had a pain crisis and the last time I was hospitalized. So in my adult years, I, honestly, I've never really been hospitalized. I mean, I've been to the ER one time, like that was years ago, but physically, y'all, I'm good. It's just one major thing, of course, with sickle cell, one mm -hmm. thing um, besides pain for the symptom fatigue. So I do get tired easily. So I try to manage that and try to take some naps in between when possible. Okay. <laughs> Let me roll the nap. <laughs> so, I would like <laughs> what motivates you? Wow. What motivates me is the ability to know that I can create anything with my writing. Um, of course, I'm focused on my children book series, um, Come Learn with mm -hmm. Patricia, which, of course, talks about sickle cell and just mainly educating people. So that's one of my things. One thing that motivates me and just writing and creating things, you know, platforms. So that always motivates me writing and being able to educate people that's awesome one of the books that caught my attention um from your website was the one that's called a collection of god's word and motivation yes <laughs> but what um, what, are you, what you can tell us what exactly is that about well that's my first book so i'm happy oh. yeah well one of um my first book i published that in 2012 Mm -hmm. Honestly, the inspiration behind that book is just mainly an encouragement guide. Um, I wrote that book in about probably a week or so when mm -hmm. I was working at my temp job. So just being able to write those poems and just pin that out. I'm not sure what gave me the inspiration to write it, but I just started writing because, like I said, back in 2012, in the earlier years, I was dealing with so much mentally um, being depressed and dealing with other stuff. So I just kind of decided to take that into poetry and to mm -hmm. create something inspirational. So yeah, that's yep, my first book. And also uh, Patricia's trip to the hospital. Is that what, is that a story like a dramatic event in your childhood from like having the sickle cell that you had? To, okay. Yes. So if you touch on that a little bit. <laughs> Basically, um, that's the one with the, the paint cover. Mm -hmm. um, 
I actually redid that book because it wasn't done properly. It didn't have the illustrations in it. So I kind of redid the book and it repub I republished it this year, September. So it's really called Patricia's Visit to the Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, same concept, but of course, different cover and it has the actual illustrations I wanted in this book. But that book mainly tells, tells, about, tells a story about a little girl living with sickle cell, Patricia. And the character Patricia is actually me. And mm -hmm. it kind of tells the story of her journey living with sickle cell at a child, you know, a, a, her childhood. So that's, well, actually book one, well, book two of the Come Learn With Patricia series. So it kind of walks the readers, you know, through her journey with sickle cell, being hospitalized. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of want to touch on a little bit about that, that, oh. of course, you know, being that Patricia is a warrior, a strong warrior, you know, she never gives up, you know, she fights through anything. So it's kind of, I kind of want to make it like a superhero type thing as well, especially for kids. Okay. So what awareness do you want to bring uh, to the world about sickle cell disease? Well, a lot of people really don't, they probably heard about sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. They probably heard some things about it, but not really you know, understanding what sickle cell disease actually is. So mm -hmm. what I'm doing now is basically educating people, talking talking more about what sickle cell is, who it affects, some of the treatment symptoms, that sort of thing, and more facts about sickle cell. Also, just mainly educating, trying to bring more awareness by talking about it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So I also would like to know if you have three, who are the three most influential people in your life? Mm. I got, well, of course I would say my parents mm -hmm. and my yeah. grandmother. I, I really honestly don't know any other person that yeah. I network with or yeah, my uh, parents and grandmother. Of course, <laughs> like, you know, they raised this. And so, like, what, what, um, what did they do in your life to uh, inspire you to be who you are today? Well, they, especially my parents, they mainly um, pushed me to become a writer. You know, write. They knew my gift at an early age of nine was writing, so they always supported me. And you know, they they were the ones who pushed me to write my first book, 2012. Um, I started writing poetry at the age of 15. But during my college mm -hmm. years, high school, I never really thought about publishing my first book up until that moment when I actually graduated from college back in 2009. So just writing my first book, they were always there to support me and just give me words of encouragement. So that's awesome. And um, <laughs> as a child, they push you, you know, they, they saw the gift that you have and they right. push, you, you know, to go further with it. And I think it's very important um, for parents to invest in their kids gifts I always preach that myself invest in your kids talents whatever gift they have to invest in that because that can make them successful later on and you are an example of that <laughs> 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 so um i want to ask you what has been your go-to meal since covid19 oh god sweets um i definitely have a sweet tooth so <laughs> when it comes to sweets it can be powdered donuts, <laughs> donuts, <laughs> uh, cookies, shortbread cookies, um, vanilla wafers, vanilla pudding, chocolate pudding. I got a whole list. But yeah, sweets, something, something sweet, you know, chocolate chip cookies, definitely one of my favorites. So yeah, sweets, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm trying to get back to my healthy eating. So COVID right. all the way off too with the eating. Of course, I just had the baby. <laughs> That threw me off as well. <laughs> so yes. I'm getting back to my healthy eating, but I still, you know, snack a lot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I, I love snacking, especially sweets. That's just sweets and sometimes chips. Yeah, that's the number one thing. Plain chips, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I want to thank you for joining me tonight. It was awesome thank having you. you. I love your story. And I'm going to pull up your everybody can see okay so if you guys want to 
contact Patrice. You can um, contact her. She, her Instagram page is at That Rivers Girl Brand LLC. And her website is www.thatriversgirlbrandllc.com. And also, you do um, writing for other people. So, yes. Um, can you speak a little bit on that? Definitely. So, being a freelance writer for over 10 plus years, that's a long time to be freelance writing for different publications. Currently, right now, I write for two publications, uh, Pretty Woman Hustle Magazine and Swagger Magazine. Mm -hmm. And basically, I just write different articles pertaining to lifestyle, entertainment, and I'm big on doing interviews. Uh, I've been doing interviews now for about, shoot, probably for a long time, over, over two, three years. You know, being a journalist is very important. I love telling other people's story. I'm, I'm a storyteller. So <laughs> writing for those publication is, you know, more experience for, mm -hmm. you know, me and my, you know, my brand. Of course, I have my own platform, Versify Media, where I do a lot of interviews and articles on there as well. So it's always great writing for different other publications. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again for being here. Uh, Thank once you. Again, I'm going to reach her. Her Instagram page is at That Rivers Girl Brand LLC, and her website is That Rivers Girl Brand LLC.com. And so, for those of you who are watching, make sure on Facebook, make sure you go to the other side, go to YouTube, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so you are notified when I am live. And for those of you who are on YouTube watching, make sure you hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. And also going back to the recipe for today, make sure you guys go to um, bajaysapron.com slash blog slash news for you to get today's recipe and more because there's plenty of recipes on there to try out. And make sure you guys also post the picture of what you made and put it in the comments and let me know how you like it. And I want to thank you all for watching tonight. And make sure you guys tune in same time next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific time, virtual, of course. And I will see you guys then. Bye. Hold on. I always take forever to do this. <laughs>